everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making some brookies and so just let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the cookie mix because if you don't know what a brookie is, it's basically a brownie with a cookie mix on top of each other, sort of. So we're gonna go ahead and make the cookie mix. So we have one egg here. We're gonna pour that in. And then we have some melted butter in this bowl. And now we can mix. So now that we have our cookie dough, we're ready to make our brownie mix. Okay, so now I'm going to make some brownies. And to begin, I'm gonna put four eggs inside of the bowl and crack them in. <laughs> Oops, it's okay. Okay, so now we have this giant tub of sugar and we're going to add two cups into the bowl. It's a lot of sugar. Okay, so now I'm going to add a cup of butter and it's been melted slash softened in the microwave. So now we have some cocoa powder to make the brownies chocolatey and we're going to add five tablespoons of this. So it's going to be very chocolatey. On to the next ingredient. So now we have what looks like cottage cheese, but is actually flour, and we're going to add two cups to our brownies. There we go. Now we have some vanilla and we're going to add one teaspoon. And now we mix. Hey guys, so I just had to change my shirt for a little bit, but um, I don't know what just happened. I think we just got hacked. But anyway, let's carry on and continue these brookies. So we've got our mix all together and we're going to put them into a pan. Okay, so now we have some cupcake liners and a mini cupcake baking pan and we're going to make some mini brookies. That way you can just pop them in your mouth. Okay, so now I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, so now I'm going to put a teaspoon of brownie mix in each of the cupcake liners. Okay. 
Okay, so I have a glove on so that it makes it easier when I put it onto the pan. Okay, so now I'm going to add a layer of cookie dough on top of the brownie layer. Okay, so now that I have all of the containers filled, I'm going to flatten it out with the spoon. Now they are ready to go into the oven. Okay, so now that we've got it all in here, it's time to put it in the oven. It's done. Let's test to see if it's done. Oh, looks pretty good. Well, here's the final product. I hope you guys try it for yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.